my, my name is uh, Ganiga, and I've been with the uh, Asian Development Bank based in Mosby for since 2008, working on transport infrastructure projects, uh, basically in the roads and, and also the bridges uh, subsectors. So I'll, I'll just dive into uh, uh, the presentation. Uh, the slide here shows, uh, introduces ADB in PNG. Uh, we've been there since 1971 when the government uh, uh, had its first technical assistance, uh, and, and it was a road project I had. Uh, and, in, in, and over the years, uh, the portfolio has been uh, gradually uh, growing uh, up to 2000, as shown there. From 2000, and, uh, from 2000 to 2019, we've steadily increased. Uh, and in 2010, uh, coming up to 2019, we, we gradually uh, increased and spiked up to 2019, where we have currently a portfolio of 1.58 uh, a billion, uh, and that, that that's huge. And that partnership has grown over the years uh, because of the relationship uh, with the government, and also more so the the partnerships with the development agencies, uh, including the Australian government, uh, the Japanese, New Zealand Aid, the U.S. Uh, through the different. Uh, relationships that have been established during the implementation or the pro uh, processing of projects. The sector focuses that we are currently in uh, with the ADB has got a country partnership strategy and also a country operations business plan. That actually maps out the uh, development uh, initiatives uh, together with the, the government on PNG, uh, the government of the day. And over the last uh, five and, and three years, we've continued to uh, focus on the transport infrastructure. Uh, uh, that's followed by the energy, uh, the health, the public uh, sector management and finance, with a total of about 1.58 uh, billion up to 2019. Uh, and that's basically uh, going forward. Much of these projects uh, in the sector uh, are coming to a close in 2020 or so. And so it's an year of uh, transition for us as well. Uh, and together with the new government, uh, we will try to uh, see how uh, we go in the next uh, couple of years or so. Some key results since 2010 uh, to date. Uh, as you can see up there, we, we have been involved in the uh, road subsector. Uh, that's more so in the Highlands region. Uh, trying to open up the feeder roads, uh, as, as has been discussed, there's a lot of opportunity in the in the rural areas. Uh, however, there is very very challenging connectivity and access issues, and so we have been in the last uh, ten years uh, under the Highlands Region Roads Improvement Investment Program, tried our best to open up about 346 uh, kilometers of roads, and these are mostly main uh, national and provincial roads connecting the rural remote areas to some sort of uh, 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 improved roads like the Highlands Highway. And we have been, uh, and, and this, these road sections are basically in the seven provinces of the Highlands region. Uh, moving on, the, the 430 kilometers of the Highlands Highway, that's uh, under one of our current uh, programs. It's a 10-year investment program. It's called the Sustainable Highlands Highway Improvement Investment Program, which was approved in 2016. Uh, and then we've, we've since gone ahead to award contracts uh, in, in, in December of last year, and the contractors have now mobilized uh, on site, and they, although progress is quite uh, as slow uh, and, and at times disappointing because we, we have uh, the government and also a lot of pressure from the public and the road users, and, and by right, uh, so, so we are trying our best to uh, help the government to improve these 430 kilometers from Nazab, Nazab Airport, uh, as you may know, all the way up to Hagen, Kagamuga uh, Junction. Uh, that will include a, 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 it will be implemented in about three different trenches over the next 10 years until 2017. Uh, also, we've been uh, assisting the government in improving about 27 bridges, both along the Hiritano Highway, uh, Angabanga, uh, Laloki, and Brown River and also the Maggie Highway, uh, the three bridges. Uh, moving on, we will also have about 12 bridges which are currently being constructed in West New Britain along the New Britain Highway. That has been a challenge because of the uh, natural hazards, as you may have heard, the volcanic eruptions there and the recent floodings uh, are, are really, really challenging the implementation of projects. 
And so the government agencies like uh, Department of Works uh, are fully on board uh, on the projects and are trying their best to implement and achieve results. Uh, we have also a program in the, in the National Maritime uh, Safety uh, Space, uh, which is for navigational aids, uh, improving of the current beacons and, and lighthouses in critical and strategic areas along the 14 or so uh, uh, coastal provinces. Uh, that is ongoing, and, and we have uh, recently agreed on an extension, and that should be uh, wrapping up the project by, by next year. Uh, we are also in the energy sector, together with the support of the uh, PNG Power Limited, uh, trying to improve the transmissions and the distributions of the rural network areas. I think it is very, very important. Uh, there has been success in that space, uh, especially in the West New Britain, where we have actually connected uh, Kimbe to Biela, and, and, and with the help of the New Zealand Aid, uh, and the, I think the Australian government also, uh, there has been extension of an expansion to the rural communities along the West New Britain in Kimbe, uh, and, and there's a lot of old palm uh, growing happening up there by the small scale uh, landowners. Uh, we are also helping the government through the PNG Power Limited uh, to try and improve the uh, Port Mosby power grid, uh, basically providing uh, a more improved generation and transmission of the electricity, which is much needed, I think, in, in NCD to overcome the blackouts. Uh, in, the, in the health sector, uh, and this is, this is again a, a, a fundamental project based on delivery of health services to the rural communities uh, across PNG. There have been uh, 34 community health posts and health centers uh, delivered over the last 10 years. Uh, I think the project is coming to an end. Uh, as I mentioned, it, it's, it's a trying time for us because most of the these, these programs over the last 10 years are coming to an end. This map here, um, um, apologies for uh, so much details in there, but I just wanted to uh, show you where we are in terms of assisting the government to deliver all the uh, uh, projects that I, I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can see the blue spots, the blue dots, those are the community health posts and the uh, uh, health centers in the different regions you can see in, in the in North Solomons, we have four there. Uh, there's about three uh, in West New Britain. Uh, this actually, uh, I, I was also asking myself whether there are people living, but there's actually islands there. Uh, and, and, and they actually, uh, they have to transport a lot of the materials uh, by, by, by dinghy. Uh, I'm sure one of the earlier slides showed you, uh, you know, people transporting from Gulf uh, down to Port Mosby. Same here, most of the materials were bought from uh, Kimbe and transported by dinghy across to uh, the smaller islands here. Uh, you can see we, we focused a lot on the highlands region uh, in terms of uh, not only the health, but also the roads. Uh, this is the main highlands highway. The 430 kilometers starts from Nazab somewhere here all the way up to uh, uh, Mount Hagen, passing through Goroka, Jiwaka, and also the, the uh, Chimbu section. Uh, there are airport projects, the civil aviation, through the National Airports Corporation, have airports uh, all around the 21, uh, uh, I mean the 21 airports are based all around the country wide, uh, and, and these are the power projects that I mentioned earlier. The power projects are actually using the hydro, the renewable energy sources uh, in, 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 in Bougainville, uh, also the, in, in Kimpe, and also in, in Port Mosby and Popondeta. So this is uh, our geographical coverage on, in support of the government together with the uh, 48 uh, development projects. Uh, the, as I mentioned earlier, the, the National Airports Corporation have been, has been in, uh, implementing the Civil Aviation Development Investment Program in the last uh, 10 years. Uh, basically, it's, it's, it's to, uh, as, as you know, the, most of the provincial towns are not connected by road. Access is challenging, connectivity is an issue, uh, it's still an issue for the government. And so we've tried to see how we can also uh, be innovative, uh, use the airlines to connect. And so they've been implementing this, this program over the last 10 years to try and improve the airport facilities, 
the domestic terminals, the runways, uh, and also the security fencing uh, to most of the 21 airports, uh, which is currently ongoing and, uh, and, and should be uh, completed within the next uh, two years, uh, over, the, over the last 10 years. Uh, the financing bid by the ADB, we, we are using what we call a multi-trans financing facility. Uh, what it does is, is, is basically gives the government a, a pool of uh, money uh, and to draw from that uh, pool of money over a period of the, using their own terms. Uh, and, 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 and it's flexible uh, with a guaranteed financing over the life of the project. So, for instance, if you are a, a consultant or a contractor wanting to uh, work in PNG, if you are working for the, I mean, if you if you if you if you successfully get a, a ADB project, uh, the government will maintain financing from the loan prospe uh, prospects uh, over the life of the project. So that is what we have, we have been uh, uh, the modality that we have been using over the last 10 years with most of our uh, uh, huge programs, uh, not only the CADIP, but also the uh, Sustainable Highlands Highway, the SHIP for short, and also uh, the Highlands Region Roads Improvement uh, Program, uh, HRRIP for, for short. And, 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 and that also includes the energy sector project. So this financing modality has been widely used in, uh, in PNG uh, to maintain financing of the government projects. Going forward, uh, we will continue to focus in the transport sector with a total of about uh, 1.3 million billion lending over the next uh, three years. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are coming to an end and we are now uh, in the process of processing our new uh, relationship or with the government, mapping out the new strategies and also the uh, country operations business plans uh, for the next uh, three to five years, and it will just basically be focusing on trying to uh, leverage and build on from what we have uh, been doing so far in terms of transport, uh, the energy sub, uh, sector, uh, again, uh, the public uh, and finance sectors, but we are also moving into uh, the wash, the water and sanitation, plus the education uh, uh, in the next five years. Uh, I, I know that for wash, we were we were doing some programs in the earlier years, uh, but that dropped, and now we are back into that space again. So be on the lookout for the, the uh, various uh, programs that we will be doing in the next uh, five to 10 years again. This uh, shows you the, the projects and the programs that we'll be undertaking in the different sectors. Uh, in the transport sector, we will continue to uh, support the government with the civil aviation uh, industry uh, with the CADIP uh, phase two. Uh, again, we will continue uh, in the road subsector with the Highlands Highway investment. Uh, as I mentioned also, this Highlands Highway is financed using the multi-trans financing facility. We are uh, at the moment implementing the trench one of the uh, uh, facility and we will be uh, programming the trench two and three for the next uh, 10 years. Uh, we are moving into also the Land and Maritime Transport and Trade Corridor Program, which is currently being uh, developed uh, as we speak. Uh, again, we've seen the need for the improvement of the northern part of uh, uh, the, the country, uh, connecting Wutum, which is the border, border station up in Vanimo, East uh, Peak Province. Uh, we are also trying to see an opportunity of a, a road project from uh, Vanimo all the way down to Medang. Uh, there are, uh, I believe there are about two missing links there, uh, which we will also try to see how, how best we can help, uh, help the government to uh, open up access and then connect those two, uh, three provincial locations. Uh, we are also in that same uh, project or program, trying to look at the development of ports, uh, ports in WeWork and then Vanimo. And, and, and also I hear uh, there will be also an opportunity to see the port in Kikori. Uh, I know that the uh, World Bank uh, speaker mentioned something about the uh, Erave connecting uh, uh, Kikori road sections, uh, we, and we've been discussing, and I, I hope that uh, in, the, in future the discussions will fruit to something uh, more uh, realistic in terms of the ports. Uh, in the energy sector, we have currently a, a, a power sector development project. 
Uh, I believe it will be a standalone project again to leverage on what we have been doing in the energy sector uh, and try to build on to uh, help uh, the government through PNG Power to maintain uh, generation uh, and transmission and distribution uh, of the projects. Uh, in the public sector, there will be a public sector development. This is basically to try and uh, help the government improve the service delivery mechanism, I think, for the health sector. Uh, as I mentioned, we're we going into education. Uh, there will be a program uh, which is also being developed, which will look at improving the technical vocational education uh, uh, trainings and, and also the employment and skills uh, development of the um, rural uh, technical vocational centers uh, based in the provinces. Uh, we, we are also doing a water and sanitation program. I believe we are we at the moment undertaking one or two projects uh, in the urban areas in NCD to look at the settlements, uh, but also at the same time we are trying to uh, look at more water supply projects in a couple of provinces around the, uh, around the country and, and see how best we can uh, improve the, the water systems in, in those provinces. Again, for the, the finance sector, uh, we, we're trying to uh, continue on a microfinance expansion program, which is looking at my cash and providing financial literacy and support to the SME. Uh, this will uh, basically be focusing on the, the small to medium sized enterprise. Uh, some reference materials uh, just to help you uh, understand what we are doing in PNG and what ADB is all, uh, all about. Uh, you can always uh, uh, try to access the ADB website. Uh, and this is our country partnership strategy, which ends in 2020, and also the uh, country operations business plan, which comes to an end in 2020, which, was, which started in 2018. For your information, we, we are now processing uh, the next, uh, mapping out the, the next development uh, strategy and also the business plan uh, for 2017 going onwards. Uh, and, 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 and this should be concluded in the next uh, one or two months, uh, hopefully, or I think uh, uh, early next uh, year. Uh, and we should be able to uh, uh, publicate, uh, it should come out for publication for public consumption. So be on the lookout for the uh, new development uh, strategy and the country operation business plan. And that will provide you a much more detailed uh, investment plan for the type of interventions that we are do we're going to be doing in the next, uh, in, in the near future and going onwards.